Hey everybody, this is Linda Summers and I hope you're doing well. So this video is going to be on going along to get along. And I'm going to share about my story, my own personal story on this as well. Um, and this was um, sparked by... I was listening to someone this morning and it brought up some thoughts and I thought, you know, this really needs to be um, brought forth. And so I kind of wrote some notes so I can make sure that I um, give you guys, sorry, I have my little um, thing that holds my phone um, broke and so I'm having to use modify. Anyway. So <laughs> this is not easy and I was going to do it outside, but my wind on my patio is really like, it's blowing up there. So I was like, I'm even blowing away. So I'm going to go over there anyway. So, um, you know, so I want to, I want to start off by saying that, and I'll probably get a lot of flack for this, but um, or maybe not. I don't know. I want to, I don't even put that out there, but you know, okay, let me just share my story. So where I used to work, um, we had a mandate cause we're a medical, um, office. And so we had the mandate and we could do the redemptions, but with the redemptions came testing and came, uh, wearing a 95 mask. And I, that it just goes against everything I believe. And so what I did was I went ahead and I consented and to do the test and all that kind of stuff weekly. And I literally was having this internal battle within myself because I knew now, I wasn't going to do the PCR test. I wanted to find something that was going to be a saliva or a blood test. and But that was going to cost me like $125 to $150, which I would have had to pay for weekly. And so um, I was going through this internal battle, and I was just like, oh, my God, like, I just cannot do this. I mean, I was crying when I'd come home because I knew within my heart that I made the wrong decision. My soul was crying out because I knew that I only did it out of fear. And that's what a lot of people, they're getting the jab or they're complying because they're afraid of taking their kids out of school or losing their job or whatever. I mean, people, I've heard people getting divorced over this because one person voted for somebody, else, you know, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like that's crazy. So Anyway, so I was going through this internal battle and then I just decided that I was just like, you know what? I can't do this because everything that I stand for and that I have been putting out there and who I am goes against complying and not standing in my truth. And I knew within my heart that it was wrong but we make decisions out of fear. We don't make the right decisions out of fear because the unknown is unknown. It's scary because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to have a job. Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to live in my house? How am I going to, what, what am I going to do? All these questions surfaced. And yet what remained was that I have always, always been provided for every point in my, every period point, in, I can't even speak about it. Every point in my life, every place in my life, every situation or whatever I was going through, I was always, always provided for. I was never without ever when I didn't know. I had no idea when I, the decisions I'd make, whether it was leaving a relationship or leaving a job. I had no idea. I had to trust. I had to have that faith, that strong faith and that belief within myself and that belief because faith is about having the faith, not knowing you don't know. You just gotta, you just gotta go for it. But I knew within myself that I was going to be all right. 
and you are going to be all right, no matter what you decide. So if it's in your heart that you know the truth, don't do anything out of fear. Never out of fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Because what's within you knows, and it's your heart, it's your soul, it's your higher self, it's the spirit of yourself. And if you have enough faith and trust that you know that God, universe, spirit, whatever your language is, that you know that you will always be provided for. So I made, so I, I consented on a Friday, on that Tuesday, the following Tuesday, because over the weekend I was having this internal battle because I knew it was wrong. I knew it was wrong. And I thought, what do I stand for? What do I believe in? I know without a shadow of a doubt, I will always be provided for. So on Tuesday, I um, told my boss, I said, I can't do this. And I knew I was going to be let go because they were already said, if you know, back in August when they were saying, you know, the uh, San Diego Public Health Department is mandating, you know, because of Biden and whatever, they're mandating the vaccine for all medical offices and you can have a redemption, but these are the, you know, these are, this is what you have to do. So... I just, I knew I was going to be let go. I, but I was just, I just told her, you know, and, and how I presented it was, have you ever made a decision in your life that you knew in your heart it was the wrong decision, but you did it out of fear? I said, I have made many of those. And she said, yeah, I probably have. And I said, this was one that I made and I can't, I cannot do this. And so that Friday was my last day, but that Tuesday when I made that decision and I walked in and I said that because it was my truth, my truth, that I knew, I knew what was right. A friend, a beautiful, wonderful friend had reached out to me and said, I need you. I'm going to help you. Out of the blue. Had no idea the decision that I made that day. She had no idea. And I told her the decision I made that day. And that she was going to train me. And so that's what I'm saying. When you make the decision that you know in your heart is the right decision. The universe, God, spirit will always make it work out for you. And she also said that I will not fight you on unemployment, which was another blessing. So a few things here. One, um, well, and this really ties into um, going along to get along, right? I could have gone along with the, the mandates done what was asked just to get along how often do we do this in relationships how often do we do this in friendships we do it in all all kinds of ways in our lives with our family with our children whatever right we do we're doing this all the time so what i want to say is that it's not necessarily about that business that company Yes, they are making that decision because they're afraid of losing their business, whatever reason, right? But there's a bigger picture here. And this is what I really want people to really understand. Is that it is all about you finding and getting your power back. And knowing what your truth is. And standing in your truth when you know within your being and you're not doing it out of fear you're not doing it out of because somebody told you that you had to and even when somebody's telling you that you have to and you're in within yourself you know that's wrong it's like somebody saying go rob that store or go steal something and you know it's wrong but you you do it to get go along to get along because you don't want to lose that friend you don't want to look like the weak person or whatever 
but you know it's wrong, that's where you stand up. And that's where this is a, this is a test. This is to where, this is how we grow and we evolve is by us standing in what we believe in so strongly that we're willing to give up security. You don't know what's going to happen, but God does. He knows every single move that you make, everything that you do. He knows. There is no judgment, but he knows. It's all about you, and there's no judgment on yourself. It's just coming from that place that you know what's wrong, what's right, what's your truth. So a lot of people will do this because they don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to take their kids out of school. They may not have the means, but you know what? You Maybe you, won't, you don't have a sitter or you're a single mom or whatever their situation is, right? Something is going to occur, just like my friend, my wonderful, beautiful friend reaching out to me. She had no idea. But I walked out on faith and trust and my truth. So don't go into fear. If you know it's wrong, don't do it. Do not do it. If it goes against everything that you believe in, do not do it. But it is not the company. They are just the catalyst that is playing the role for you to wake up, for you to empower yourself, for you to get your power back, for you to go inside and find your truth. This has all been about for you. It's that pressure. It's that it, it's, it's, they're pressing in on you. Just like in a relationship when you're not, you don't want to be in this relationship, but you're in it to get along. You're not happy. But guess what? Things will never, ever change, just like in the world. If we keep complying and not standing our truth and not standing up for what we believe in, nothing will ever change. It's only going to get worse in the sense that you're going to have to keep rising to that person's bar. When you are here, you're going to have to rise to here. Is that what you want? I don't think so. And like I said in one of my last videos, you're going to die a little bit each day. So this is to find that strength within yourself. Find that truth within yourself. Know what your beliefs are. If there's somebody else's beliefs, don't go. Don't do it. It's somebody else's beliefs. It's not your beliefs. It's not serving you. Um, the, it's going to bring up patterns, programs that you've been, you know, you're programmed, you know, all these different programming beliefs that you have. This is what I've just been really talking about. So it's going to bring up all this, right? For you to go, okay, this is a pattern that I've had because I'm, I'm afraid. I'm not willing to look at the unknown. I have faith and trust. But you really don't have faith and trust. Because if you did, you'd walk out on that. It reminds me of that movie. Um, oh, I just lost the thought of it. Um, oh, I can't even think of the actor's name. Well, anyway, he's up on top of a building and they're chasing after him and he's got to, he's got to jump off the building basically. And he's like, I hope like hell there's, there's going to be a step for me. Sure enough, there was every time he landed on his foot, there was a step, you know, it's the same thing. You are going to be taken care of. If you really look at your life, you've always been taken care of. And no matter what you've gone through, no matter the traumas, the situations that you've gone through, You've made it. You've survived it. Somehow, some way, you've survived it. But maybe it was shoving it under the carpet. Maybe you thought you were over it. And this is not to 
you know, wallow in whatever situations. Because, you know, my life hasn't been all roses and cherries and unicorns and fairies or whatever. It hasn't been like that. I haven't had a bad life. But there's been situations in my life that have taken me to certain degrees in my life that I told in one of my videos that I wanted to take my life several times. But this is where we find the strength within ourselves. And you look at those situations for what they are because you are not those situations. You want to feel those. You want to recognize those. Allow those to surface in the front, in your forefront, right? Allow that whatever's coming up for you, if you decide to walk out on a relationship, a job or whatever, and not, you know, comply and get the jab, feel what comes up for you. Where is that coming from? Is that your truth? What's going to happen? Keep asking yourselves, what's the worst that can happen? I don't have a house. What's the worst that can happen? I end up on the streets. What's the worst that can happen? You know, that you're, you have nothing on the streets. But then you have to ask yourself, is that the truth? I'm sure that there is someone out there that would take you in if that was the case. I'm sure there's someone out there that would bring food to you or give you money for food or whatever it is that you need. I'm sure there's someone else out there that will offer you a position. But we have to stand by our truth and not comply. So things are going to come up. Patterns and things like that are going to come up for you. And this is where you're going to have to start asking yourself a lot of questions, as I mentioned. Um... But this is, this is how we're going to make it, you guys. Because if we keep doing things, things will never change. They're just going to get worse. Just like in a job, just like in a relationship. When you, you know, go along to get along, nothing ever benefits. Nothing ever benefits from that. Nothing ever good comes out of that. You end up resenting the person, resenting the whole thing. You're living your life. You hate your life. You're pretending. You lose yourself. And you die. There's a death that happens within you. There's no light. That spark of light that you had in yourself is no longer there. It's gone. So these are things to ask yourself. Um... So the last thing I really want to talk about is, um, which I've said this from the time I started coaching in 95, your outside world is a reflection of your internal world. So when you're at peace with yourself and you know within your heart that you've done the right thing, that you, your intentions are good. Your outside world, yes, there are things happening on the outside world, but we can remain, we can be aware of those things, but remain neutral. We can have compassion without having that affect us. You know, just because we have compassion or we have empathy for something doesn't mean that we have to take that on and feel that and continue to feel that. Not at all. You have the compassion, but then you disconnect yourself from that and allow that to work its way out. Just like the pressure cooker, it's all building up in the pressure cooker to be released. And this is what's happening with us, and this is what's happening in the world, because we are a part of this. And as I said in my last video, we're a part of the collective, we're a part of the Mother, the mother Earth. So all this pressure is building up within us to be released. To come to the surface. But you have to do the inside work. You're never going to get out of this. 
no matter what you what you do you you can you can ignore you can make up excuses for what's happening or why that person's acting that way you can keep ignoring and making excuses it's never going to go away it's it's never going to go away it's going to come through another situation another person another thing something it will always come back it has to unless you choose to leave the earth but that's the easy way out we knew when we said I will come down here and help humanity and bring humanity back home we knew we just lost sight of that we lost that um, the wherewithal we got amnesia there's another word for it I can't think of it but we you know we forgot and this is the place that we're at you guys it's now or never It will never go away. You can't just keep ignoring. Just like if you for your job or your relationship. I'm going to keep going back to that. Because we can relate to that. You can keep ignoring and making excuses for that person. Maybe they're beating you. Maybe they're doing drugs. Whatever. You can keep making excuses. But it's never going to change. You have to change. You have to be the change you want to see in the world. We have to take the responsibility for this world because we did what's happening in this world. We are, every single one of us are part of what's going on in this world by our thoughts. So we need to save our own self, which saves humanity. And we need to come together. We need to stand in our truth and not go along to get along. Find out what it is your beliefs are if that's if you're having this internal battle like I had this internal battle going within me and I'm telling you guys I feel so much lighter do I know what's gonna happen absolutely not do I know where my life's going no I don't but you know what I what I do know I'm always provided for always and I will always be provided for he will make sure that I'm always provided for. I will have everything that I need. That's what I know. So, whatever that internal battle is going on within you, if there is, or you have these thoughts of, did I do the right thing? Did I not do the right thing? Whatever that is, right? that's when you want to take notice and you want to honor that space and place that's coming up that is your soul your higher self speaking to you speaking to you to let you know what's the truth you know when we have these thoughts and ideas and beliefs because someone told us that was what the way it was supposed to be and that may have served a purpose at some point in our life but does that serve the purpose now you have to ask yourself these questions it's time that we start questioning within ourself what is our truth what do I stand for what are my beliefs And quit ignoring and quit making excuses. And quit blaming. You can't blame. Because your business or whatever, is it wrong? Absolutely. I'm not saying it's not wrong. Is it wrong? Absolutely. Is that, can they really do that? No, they can't. But they are. But they're the catalyst for us to make that jump. That leap of faith. That trust. You believe in God? Do you? Do you? Do you have faith? Do you? This is where you'll find out. If you can walk out on that. 
So that's my message for today. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like, and hit the bell for notifications so you'll know when my next video is. And yeah, really, you know, dive in there, you guys. Find what your truth is. And if you know in your heart if something is wrong, stand for what you believe in. Because like I said, this is now or never. We could lose our own human race. And I think that's something to really think about. Yeah, do we have the Galactic Federation and the Alliance and God in on this? Absolutely. All of heaven? Absolutely. But they can only do so much. We can't expect somebody else to save us. It's like trying somebody else to save you from your relationship. Nobody's going to save you but you. Or your job. No one's going to save you but you. So you have to tap into your heart. We get so caught up in the head and, you know, the logical and all of that. It's not the same as being in the heart. Could I have uh, worked my way around logically? Yeah, of course. And I would have complied. I did. I actually did comply. Until I realized over the weekend I was miserable. Because I knew it was wrong. I knew it went everything against everything I believed in. All right, so that's my message for today. So go into your heart. That's where everything, the answers lie within here, not here. They don't lie within the mental. It's all here. It's felt here. Your brain doesn't feel. Your heart is what feels. All right, so have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day. And I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye.